Hi guys, Cole Schumach here, and in today's exciting episode, we're going snake catching. This particular call, um, the people are away, so uh, this client asked me to, basically they've had someone else doing some work on their place, uh, seen the snake today, um, and they want um, someone to go and have a look. So we do offer inspections of properties, um, so that's what I'm about to do. So from the description that was given, which is a pretty easy description, a two meter black colored snake, which would lead me to believe with a red belly, that is a red belly black snake, which is very common around the Lake Macquarie. Uh, probably 80% of my calls are red belly blacks. And yes, yes people, I have shaved my beard off. You know, 2022, thought I'd start the year off with a fresh face. Um, you know, like, I, I'm one of those guys that can grow a beard like I had very quickly. So, it's good to touch your face, actually. People that grow beards and then shave them off, which I'm one of those people. Um, the first time you uh, touch your face again is a bit strange because you're used to touching hair, laying on hair, dealing with that. don't have to deal with that now. And then if I want to grow it back, I'll grow it back. And I thought, why not? While I'm driving, I was just driving along and I thought, yeah, I could just talk when I get to the next place. But I thought a little bit about me, Cole Schumark. I have a beautiful wife, Chloe. I have five children Summer and Willow Hi Summer and Willow Summer's nine and uh, Willow is six they're from a previous marriage and they, I get to see them every second weekend which is great love spending time with them I have Sailor who's my stepdaughter she's four turning five this year and um, she lives between Mine and Chloe's place and her dad's place. Hi, Sailor. Hello. Hello. And then we, uh, between me and Chloe, we have Jack and Arlo. So Jack's two years old and Arlo is four months old. Hi, boys. Love you both. And so that's my life. So I have a nice job uh, and a nice little family. A bit about me growing up, like my first memory of a reptile is um, I, had, I had a Dalmatian, or my father and mother had a Dalmatian kestrel, her name was, and she got bitten by a snake and, and subsequently died. Um, and my memory is watching my father on his backhoe, uh, my father was a plumber, and on his backhoe clearing the block next door of all the shrubs and bush where this snake may have been lurking um, because he, he believed, I think Kestrel went in there and got bitten by it so he cleared all the bush out. So that was my first memory of a reptile and I was just astounded like, what do you mean this thing I haven't even seen or even know what it looks like bit such a large animal and she's gone? Um, and then later on in, uh, I was introduced to blue tongues and um, and it went from there. Had a pet blue tongue, pet lizards. Um, great times. And then here we are today. Catching and relocating nuisance reptiles. Uh, and educating people. I, like with pythons, I try and educate people. To leave them in their yards. And, but some people are just, mate, she's got to go. So, that's what I do. Also, and try and involve the kids as much as I can as long as it's safe to do so, obviously. Um, because, um, you know, uh, like little Jack um, loves snakes, loves dinosaurs. Oh, my goodness. Uh, he's a very, very big dinosaur fan at the moment. Anything dinosaur, uh, he loves. Um, like getting him in his pyjamas, impossible. Get him in his dinosaur pyjamas, he flies in them, jumps into them. So you've got to be strategic about the pyjamas you pick. Um, even getting him out of the bath, obsessed with his dinosaur tower now. So, so 
So, yeah, pretty funny. It was funny, actually. I was, I was talking to a guy the other day, and he was a uh, mate of mine, and he said, oh, you know, oh, Frozen, how bad was that? And I'm like, mate, Frozen for me has been around for almost 10 years because Summer liked Frozen, Willow liked Frozen, Sailor liked Frozen, Jack liked Frozen a little bit, but, you know, it's sort of worn off, so Frozen's gone away, but now all the dinosaur videos, like Jurassic Park and stuff I like, uh, Jack likes, which is cool. And it's going to be interesting to see what Arlo likes, so. But anyway, that's enough about me. If you want to know about more about me, um, leave a comment below. I can, I'm deciding whether to, like, share more of my um, personal life with you guys or just the snake catching stuff. Uh, I do diving as well. Like, I haven't spearfished in a while now, but I still enjoy that, and I still want to get out and do that, but it's just uh, finding the time to do that with all the kids and appointments and snake catching and my normal job as well. Um, There's a lot to squeeze into a day. So I did actually buy myself last Christmas, so Christmas 20... 20 a bodyboard um, I used to bodyboard as a kid then I started stand up surfing and then I, I enjoy stand up surfing as well but I enjoyed bodyboarding way more so I bought myself a bodyboard haven't used it yet it's been a whole year just sitting there got to get in the water and do it so I mean I, where I live I live 5-10 minutes from the beach and really good beaches too so it's just excuses got to get out there and do it it's good for your it's good for my mental health, like, um, you know, the ocean for me over the years has always sort of, you know, brings you back to your, ground, your grounding, which is like feeling the, the sand on your feet, the cold of the water, the water around your body. It sort of centres you a bit, I guess, um, you know, in the middle of the winter, surf's pumping, it's just nothing better. So I'm two minutes away where I'm heading so I'll catch you guys when I'm there Okay, so I've had a look around, good look around. I looked at the neighbour's place and uh, I think the snake's moved on, so. Yeah. Peace of mind for some people anyway. Good spot. Plenty of spots to hide, but I've looked in the normal spots and there's no snake poo or skins or anything around, so. It is just going from property to property, so. And there you go. Anyway, there you go, another happy client. Checked out their place. Um, snake had moved on. Um, had a good look around. Uh, but yeah, the snake, I think that snake is moving between properties. I believe I got called out there, I don't know, after, just after Boxing Day or, I can't remember when it was, it was around then, to a property just up the road a bit, so. I'm going to say it's the same snake, um, same sort of description of size anyway. Um, yeah, so make sure you like the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment below, tell me about yourself, where you're from in the world and what you'd like to see. Um, I'm always open to the ideas, like I was saying before, like I'm tossing up the idea whether to share more of my family life and just my day to day stuff. Um, yeah. And with each video, I'm going to try and get more shots, get better at it, um, pay more attention to the little things like audio, making sure that's cool. Yeah, so, um, sorry about that, a bit, um, bit of a not exciting video, but um, still a video nonetheless. And uh, I just want to say hello to my kids. Summer, Willow, Sailor, Jack and Arlo, love you all. Until next time.